What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can ring. Um, you want to be notified of future readings? Just smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so I got a channel in, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this reading. I've done most of the signs up to week two for November of 2021, and then of course all the other channel messages and collective readings. So. Um, you're welcome to view at the group viewing pleasure if you would like. I'm going to probably start on Truth Hidden today, probably. Just let everybody know. Um, okay, so the channel I received was um, someone that was once jealous of you is about to be extremely jealous of you again. Is what I just, that's what I heard. <laughs> so you plug it in. I mean, that's sad. It's really sad, um, in my opinion. It's sad. You know, you shouldn't be jealous of anybody um, because what's the point of sitting there roasting me and jealous of somebody who can go out and grow, grow and manifest yourself? Um, that's the way I look at it, but you um, you really plug it in however it resonates in your own life. Somebody that was once jealous of you is about to be very jealous of you again. Um, I think jealousy is a very, un, uh, a very, not unnecessary emotion, but a very... I just, yeah, yeah kind of unnecessary because what's the point of jealousy? It doesn't um, breed anything positive. So yeah, I guess I would say unnecessary. It's kind of an unnecessary emotion. Um, in a way, in a way. Sometimes it promotes you to do better in yourself, in your life. Um, but, um, you know, it's for the most part unnecessary in my opinion. You probably didn't help resonate. This is collective reading, caps through sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Someone is about to lie on you and say that you do drugs, but this person is about to really, really turn it around on them in a huge way. They definitely do not. They know the truth. Oh, my God. So, it's probably the jealous person. You plug it in how it resonates. So somebody's jealous of you. They were jealous of you in the past. Then I guess they became unjealous of you. And now they're going to be jealous again. Jealous Jack. Jealous James. Whoever. Somebody's jealous. Just saying. Um, it's really sad. But. So they were jelly. Then they were not jelly. And then they're going to be jelly again. Um, what the crap, man. And then somebody, uh, I think it's the same person that's jealous of you, but you plug in your life how it resonates, if it resonates. Somebody that um, is going to lie and say that you're, you're doing drugs. But whoever is they're speaking to, they're basically going to call them out on their ish. And uh, because they know the truth. They know you don't do drugs. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. This is crazy. Spirit message. It's probably because of the jealousy. Because we have heavy, heavy, heavy jealous energy in here. Heavy jealous energy. It's really pretty sad, but you know, that is whatever. It is what it is. Spirit messages you have reflective. It's really sad. Some of these people secretly do drugs. And some of these people are going to be exposed soon. Okay. I heard some of these people secretly do drugs and um they're going to be, some of them are going to be exposed soon. So the ones that are basically jelly and their jammies over you in the past, and then they wasn't, and now they're going to be again. Um, and then they're going to try to lie and say, you do drugs. Some of them do drugs. They do drugs. <laughs> well, I heard some of them are going to be um, exposed soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates, man. This is sad. This is so sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. It's just, it's laughing because it's sad. Isn't that sad? I'm just saying, it. it's so sad. Sad, sad. Spirit messages here, I reflected. By the way, thanks to all the new subs, you guys. Um, You guys are the best. The channel, boom, 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 man. You guys are the bestest. Um, it kind of, it was, it went, psh, you know, landscape, psh, and then it was a little for a minute, and then, psh, and then it kind of announced. Psh. So, thanks, you guys. Thanks, um, for everybody sharing my channel. Um, I know, thank you, YouTube, for the YouTube recommendations. Um, thanks 
for all you guys, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares, because that helps get, uh, get us um, everybody on the recommendations that gets on their YouTube recommendations. So thank to all you guys for helping get me on the recommendations, and thanks to YouTube for the YouTube recommendations. Thank you so much. You guys are just the best. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys, even the dislikes. And if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. Um, no cash, um, no PayPal, no Venmo, cash app. I mean, ooh, no cash app, no Venmo, PayPal only. Just saying. Um, and yeah, so just saying. Okay, so family and tribe, reverse, hole in the soul, reverse, home upright, have faith upright. Number 20, 36, 35, or 22 might be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be possible an age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, lottery number, possible jersey number. Um, you plug it in, however that resonates. If that does resonate in your life, possibly. It could be reoccurring numbers you're seeing on advertisements or billboards, 20, 36, 30, uh, 35, or 22. Family and tribe reversed, home in the soul reversed, home upright, half faith upright. Um, somebody's very jealous in their Jamie's of you. Very jealous. Very jealous. And whoever this is for, I will tell you, um, you're very independent. Very independent. I feel you've cut off toxic people in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. And that's pissed people off. So you're very, very independent. Okay, I heard very independent. So uh, that's confirmation from spirit. You're very independent. So you cut off toxic people in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's toxic family, um, toxic partner, toxic frenemies, whoever, toxic coworkers, you should cut them off. Um, family and tri um, tribe reversed. So you're independent. I heard very independent. And people, I think really people are jealous of that. That's what I think. So I think other people that see you doing well, they are stuck in toxicity. That's exactly what I think. Hold the soul reversed. You're not upset about this. You're happy, very happy about this. Okay, and, very, and someone's about to realize this and help you out in a huge way. Okay, I heard very happy about this and someone's about to realize this and help you out in a huge way. So you're happy that you're independent. You're happy that you're independent, that you're doing you, that you're able to self-care and self-heal and, um, you know, do the things that you want to do. And, um, you know, maybe... I mean, whatever, you know, your heart's desire, hopefully in a healthy way, though, just saying, because um, somebody's accusing you of doing drugs. So um, maybe for some of your ex-addicts, please don't, please don't go back to the bottle, back to the needle, back to the snorting, whatever, back to the shooting up between the toes, whatever, if that resonates for you. I, of course, everybody has free will, and you can if you want, but I wouldn't suggest it. It wouldn't be smart. But for some, I don't feel you are ex-addicts. you just people claim that you are because they want to use some kind of excuse as to why you're not around them but they don't want to take responsibility for their toxic behavior basically but i heard somebody realizes you're happy you're happy being very independent happy being by yourself you're happy and this person's about to recognize it and they're about to help you out in a huge way so hold the soul reversed you're not you like being independent a lot a lot a lot always have Okay, I heard a lot, a lot, a lot, always have. So you have liked being independent a lot, and you always have. So um, some raising children, some not. Some singles, true single. Some raising children and some not, some true single. So some you like being a single parent uh, is what I'm feeling. Some you like being a single parent, so some you're a single parent. Um, enjoys it very much. Okay, I just heard enjoys it very much. So for some of you enjoy being a single parent. I'm a single parent. I get it. Um, I love being a single parent. Um, just saying, I do. Um, you know, I do. Um, I don't want a partner. <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> but everybody's different. Everybody's different. But you plug it in how it resonates. So, but some of you enjoy being a single parent. Some of you enjoy... Being single, true single is a Pringle energy. So truly single, no kids, no attachments, no nothing. Somebody's about to see this, single is a Pringle energy and single parent energy, and they're about to help you out in a huge way. Home upright.
Some are dreaming of paying off their mortgage, and that will come sooner than you think. And some are dreaming of moving and moving homes, and that will come sooner than you think, too. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Holy crap. This is looking good. So some of you guys are dreaming of paying off your mortgage, I heard, soon, and that will come soon, sooner than you think. So I think for some, you're going to get some kind of financial blessing or a new business opportunity or a new job opportunity. However, that resonates or some kind of inheritance, um, whether it was already owed to you or it's coming surprise, um, possibly, possibly. Um, and that will pay off your mortgage for some and some help you maybe possibly pay off your mortgage and move. So because so, some you want to pay off your mortgage, some you want to move homes. So you have home upright. So you like, I think you're a homebody. I think you're a little nerdy like me and you like your alone time. You like, I mean, alone time with your kids, you know, you and your kids or just you. You like being by yourself. You like reading. You like studying. You like working out. You like, um, I don't know, browsing the internet. Um, you like your alone time or, you know, you like your alone time. You're single, whoever this is. Some you're single parents, some you're single as a Pringle. Um, single energy all day long in here, but you like being at home. You're a homebody. You don't like partying and shooting up with bangers or snort, snorting coke or whatever the crap those crazy people do. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Have faith. Keep the faith. There's There are people working against you, know this, but there are many that are about to start being in your corner in a huge way. They're about to see the real truth, especially when they speak to other people soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So we have have faith. So I heard there are people working against you. So there are pe people working against you. So in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, so know that if that resonates with you. Some you're trying to get out of a home situation. Um, I think you're, you're trying to move places. Um, so I think you're trying to save up, maybe upgrade, nicer home, or better neighborhood, or what have you. And some you're trying to pay off your mortgage, and some I feel it's both. Um, so, but it's money there. It's money, I think. Somebody trying to block your money. And there's people working against you to block your money. But, and there are, there are. I heard there are people working against you. But I heard soon there's about to be a lot of people in your corner because they're about to talk to other people. And I think these people are about to talk to other people are very highly intuitive. And they're about to realize that you're telling the truth um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Or those people are lying on you. However, that resonates. So we have have faith. So keep the faith that it's going to work out. I think it's going to work out positively for you to either move into another home or pay off your mortgage or both um you love your home i'll tell you that you love your home or you love the fact that you want to really pay off your mortgage um i understand that um, i get it you you plug it in however it resonates several 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 Shocking series of chain events or positive shocking series of chain events are about to occur for you. Several. Keep having the faith. People are about to help you, whether you think they are or not. Okay. I heard, God, I heard many positive, um, many positive, several shocking series of chain events are about to occur for you. Basically, um, keep having the faith. Whoever this is for, I think you are a little, have been a little down or you are down now thinking that nobody was going to help. Um, I think it's in the money department. I think some you're searching for jobs and I'm serious. I think you're searching for jobs or you're searching for a better job. Um, so you can pay off your house or move. With, whether you rent, if you rent, move. Or if you pay, you pay a mortgage, move. Or, or just paying off your mortgage or both. But um, I think it's money. It's money. It's holding you back. But many people are about to are about to step up. They're about, have the faith. Basically, people are going to start helping you. I think these people are highly intuitive, and they realize, or they're about to start realizing something, and it's going to cause them to really help you. So 
important spirit message in this was to have faith um, because um, it's like help is on the way. And I didn't hear that, but that is the energy I'm feeling. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Help is definitely on the way. Eyes wide open. Okay, I heard help is definitely on the way. Eyes wide open. Some people are going to really, really regret ever lying on you. Know this. Oh, my God. I heard help is on the way. Know this. Um, it sounds like it might be several people. And I'm serious about that. You plug it in how it resonates in your own life. But I heard several people about their regret ever lying on you. So they lied on you. I think they slandered your name. Um, who was that? We were that legal ace term we were um, pulling in the other day. Um, what was it? Not defamation of character, but it was the one where you slander somebody's name very publicly in public. But slander, it's all lies. It's not true. Um, so, you know, it's not to speak the truth. It's lying. What was it? Um, I'm not a lie to you guys can't tell me, but um, whatever the term is, when you slander somebody's name in public intentionally, um, I cannot remember it off the net top box bad in my head. Um, I got it in a channel a few weeks ago. Oops. Oh, this is my down street. Okay, I'm sorry. Very much to do chair for pleasure. But I heard several people are about to help you. And they're about to help you soon. So I'm thinking it's maybe they're gonna help you move. Maybe they're gonna give you help give you a job opportunity. Maybe they share information. They're about to help you in some shape, form or fashion. I'll tell you that. Okay, so we have learned from the past, be playful and be fearless and bold. Someone is about to be in a very different financial space, very different, very soon. And they're very, very, very good with money. So they will be able to really, really save up. It's going to be wonderful. Okay. All right, someone's going to be in a very, very different financial space soon. They're, whoever this is for, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. They're very good with money. Very good. So, that, you know, you know how to save. You know how to budget. You know how to um, save up for rainy days. You know, um, some of you are single parents, so I get it. I'm a single parent. So, to me, that is the number one thing you have to know as a single parent is how to budget your money appropriately. Um, and I'm that's just real life one-on-one, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. So, I feel some of you guys are single parents. And... But you're good with money because you are you have to be good with money because feed your kid, get your kid a coat, you know, or um, have them go cold or, you know, um, or go find the a nice coat on clearance at the thrift store or spend one hundred and fifty dollars on one name brand. You know, you know, what I'm saying decisions, decisions, um, smart money decisions is what I'm saying. I get it. I get it. The struggle's real, but it teaches you real life lessons, um, valuable real life lessons. Um, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. But um, anyways, uh, I heard your financial space is about to be completely different soon. So I think you're about to get offered something soon. Um, I heard many, many positive things about to happen to you. So I'm thinking those might be calls for interviews. They might be job opportunity um, calls for interviews calls for um come in um offer of employment if you've already interviewed or they know you from the past they know you do good work and they really want you to come work with them um you plug it in how it resonates for somebody doesn't necessarily even have to be an interview if they know you from the past they know you're a good worker they know you do good work so it, so some i don't even think it's going to be an interview i think it's just gonna be a call hey do you, you want to blah, 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 blah? Are you interested in this position? Blah, 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 blah kind of thing. This is what I'm thinking for some, for some. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. We have earth energy, air energy, and earth energy. Double earth energy and air energy. You could be dealing with earth sign or air sign. Um, if you are, or you could be an earth sign or air sign. If you are, either way, you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, um, not Aries, sorry. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you or someone you're connected to could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Venus, Jupiter. 
Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Learn from the past. Someone really regrets how they treated you in the past. They're about to amend it. Okay. Or someone really regrets how they treated you in the past. They're about to amend it. So we have learned from the past. So I think it's someone about to offer you something or give you something or help you with something. However that resonates, they treated you like shit in the past. For some, I feel they could have abused you. And I'm just being serious. I didn't hear that. But that's what I'm feeling. In some shape, form, or fashion, it, um, I'm serious. But they, they regret it. They do regret it. And that's good. It's good they have remorse. If they did not have remorse, that would be like psychopathic behavior. And that's scary. So at least they regret it. I will tell you that. So they did not have remorse for it. I wouldn't want to be around that person. I'm serious. But they do regret it. And they're about to um, do something for you in some shape, form, or fashion. Whatever it is, I'm not sure. It could be an offer of something. It could be financial something, something. It could be a gift, whatever it is. Be playful. Now, of course, use your best discernment. Use your best discernment. Because if it's somebody that was so toxic to you in the past that you just cannot forgive them, and now they just want to come back and um, offer you something because they know they abused, abused, abused the hell out of you, and it's kind of like breadcrumbing, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. So please use your best discernment. Don't let somebody breadcrumb you. Do not let somebody breadcrumb you. And if this is a person you slept with from the past or a past partner, I'd be very, very, very careful. Very. Just saying. Hopefully this is not a past partner. And hopefully it's not an abusive somebody wanting to breadcrumb you. Those two, I would not take back. Now, if it was anybody else, then yes. But um, I wouldn't for those two situations. Just saying. But you have your free will and you can do what you want. Um, but somebody is definitely very regretful. There are certain people in my life I would never accept back in my life is what I'm trying to tell you. There are certain people I just wouldn't. Any exes, of course, I have to co-parent with my ex-husband. Co-parenting is fine. But would I ever remarry him? No. Would I ever get back in a relationship? No. Would I ever redate any of my ex-boyfriends or ex-fiance? No. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious, it's a heart attack. Would I ever allow certain family members back into my life ever again? No. But other people possibly is what I'm trying to say. But of course, everybody's list is different. Everybody's list is different. Be playful. You're going to be very happy about this. And one person you dated in the past is going to try to come back. Air sign energy. It would not be smart. Okay, I heard you're going to be very happy about this. So somebody about to do something nice for you. Uh, in some shape, form, or fashion, you're going to be happy. Uh, but of course, use your best discernment, you guys. Use your best discernment. And then one particular air sign I heard you uh, went on a date with in the past. Um, for some, I feel it's just one date. Um, I heard a date. So I think you just went on one freaking date with them. Um, I heard they're going to try to come back. I heard it wouldn't be a smart idea. What the crap, man? You went on one date with them? One date and, and they want to come back? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you must, I mean, I don't know what the crap you guys did on that date, but apparently you are immemorable to them. Um, it doesn't make sense to me because if they, you were immemorable, immemorable to them then, they would have wanted to stay around, but they left and now they want to come back. So, I would use my best discernment on that too. I wouldn't allow that person back in my life for me personally because I would be questioning motives. If so, and I'll just give you, if it happened to me, I'm just trying to help somebody out there. I mean, I've went on dates with many people in the past. Um, some air signs, um, I ain't gonna lie, some um, different signs. Of course, I've dated fire and I've dated all signs. But, and I went on many one dates is what I'm saying. So, if somebody, let's say somebody popped up from my past that I went on one date with, and I can think of a couple of air signs I've, I've dated, went on one dates with, um, and they just popped up in my driveway, like today, 
and said, hey, blah, 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 and they just wanted to come back, I'd be questioning motives. I'd be questioning why are you standing in my driveway after three years? Because I haven't been on a date in, um, oh my God, three years. It's been three years since 18 for me. It has been three years. So it's been at least three years for me. Of course, it's different for all you guys. But why are you standing in my driveway after three years? We went on one date. Um, is there something not up here, right up here? I mean, and I'm serious about that. That's what I would say. Or I, that's what I would think. Um, that's what I would think. And I'm serious about that. I wouldn't say that to them, but that's what I would think. Because why are you popping up in the driveway after three years? If you were interested, you would have continued it. That's a logical same thing, just saying. Um, but, and I'm serious about that. So, um, I heard it wouldn't be wise. So that person, the one particular person that you apparently went on one date with, and now they want to mosey rosy back into your life, I heard that wouldn't be smart. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. Stay, stay, stay away from this person because it's going to screw up your positive opportunities. Okay, okay. Well, that's a very specific message. Okay, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. So it'd be smart to stay away from the air sign that you went on one date with, the Gemini Libra Aquarius one dater, apparently. Um, I heard very smart to stay away from them because it'd be so smart to, I mean, it's going to be very so smart to stay away from them because there's something going on with this air sign connected to your opportunities in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, they're trying to screw up your opportunities, and maybe that's why they're trying to come in now because they want to block you. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So you have to plug this air sign in that you went on one date with, however long ago it was for you. I know for me it's been three years, but for some it could have been three months ago. Um, but they're trying to block your opportunities is what I'm trying to say. So it's very smart to stay away from them. They wanted you, they would have stayed, just let you know. And I'm serious. Um, but I, I heard stay away from them. Be very smart because somebody else is about to help you out. Just for real, for real. Be fearless and bold. Be confident. You've got this. No, you do. Okay, I heard be confident. You've got this. You know you do. So um, when you get offered this offer, you're going to get offered some kind of opportunity. For some, many opportunities, I think, soon. For some, I think you're going to get offered so many opportunities. You're not, you're going to have a choosing. Um, that's exactly what I think. Some, you're going to get offered so many opportunities, you're going to have a choosing of what you want to choose. Absolutely. Soon, some will. Many, many, many. Okay, I heard absolutely some will. Many, many, many. Okay, so for my singles and um, single parents out here, this is my single reading and single parents, apparently. Um, reading. You're about to get offered many opportunities. Um, employment, business, money. Uh, some, it could be large donations coming in or um, some kind of payout or settlement energy, some kind of money, 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 money something. However that is, um, however it comes to you is what I'm trying to say, but many, many, several, blah, 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 several shocking, positive things. I think it's money related. So it's either interviews, it's either business opportunity, like business collaborations or, um, employment opportunities or, um, payout or promotion or settlement or something, um, bonus, something, money, money, money related, some, many, so just saying, um, but you're either single or, or a single parent, I'll tell you that, I heard be confident, you got this, you got this, so I think when these, um, when the people contact you, when they contact you, maybe they need to ask you questions, maybe they need information from you, of course, use your best discernment, don't be scammed, please, God, don't be scammed, but, um, you know, just use your best logic and discernment is what I'm trying to say. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And, of course, stay away from this one air sign you dated. Um, this one air sign you dated in the past wants very ill will for you. Very ill will. They are harboring deep, dark secrets. And they want to draw you in it. Okay. Okay, that's confirmation from spirit. Okay, so very ill, Ill will. So you went on one freaking date with this 
person, this air sign, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine or femme, if they plug in your life. One day, it sounds like. Now, oh, sorry. And now they want to come back. But they're harboring deep, dark secrets and they want to involve you in the deep, dark secrets is what it is. But I heard from spirit, it, it'd be very, very smart to stay away from them. So if they try to mosey mosey back in your life, dear God Almighty, hope you identify them. It's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine or feminine. You went on one date with them. Just saying. All right. I think we're done. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Namaste.